Guys, I just want to show you my little mini solar system, what I set up. First of all, I'm going to show you the input, which is what's coming into the little mini solar system is this Canadian solar panel, and it's at 200 and 260 watts. So that's what's coming in. That's what's powering this little mini solar system. Okay, so we're coming in we come into the charge controller which is this charge controller is a MPPT you want to make sure you get an MPPT this is a Chinese made um, charge controller it's a EP solar but this one is a good one make sure you get a good MPPT because some of the Chinese ones are fake all right you can see here that we're flashing and we are at full battery this battery uh, is only a 12 volt battery actually these are two six volt batteries but they're put in series you got to make sure that you get um, your 12 volt batteries that are going to be let's see if i can let you see you want them to be 20 hours at let's see 225 you want your amp hours to be uh above 200 amp hours okay so these are in this is in series two 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 six volt batteries to make a 12 volt battery and this is the T105s, okay? And so we've, we're making a 12 volt battery here, which I'm gonna get six more batteries because I'm going way bigger. This is just a little test thing right here. Okay, so we got the batteries. You need your batteries. You really only need three things for a uh, solar system. You need an inverter, which is this 300 watt inverter only 300 watt because I'm only running my office. My office is like 120, 125 watts to run, okay? This is a 300 watt, so I got plenty of uh, wattage to cover, okay? And this will run just off the, the sun right now. You can see it's completely full. I can run my, my uh, office all day long free. At night, I can go with just these little two batteries that I have, uh, probably about eight hours, I think. Around six to eight, maybe 10 hours. Um, all right, and that's being pretty conservative if I unplug a couple of things off the uh, off the power strip. So, and then, so what you need three things you need your inverter, you need your charge controller, and you need some batteries. And well, you need four things actually, then you need your solar panels, something to bring in some power, okay something to charge the batteries okay and this charge controller does a great job because it's very efficient it's not like a regular charge controller the MPPT you definitely want to get all right and also you want to make sure with the um, the solar panel outside is a 260 watt panel this is a 300 watt inverter okay so you got to make sure that the input and the output are basically the same I'm bringing in 260 watts to charge the batteries, I'm taking it and I can take up to 300 watts of power, okay? Uh, let me show you real quick in here to the office. Let's see what we're running here. We are running at 104 watts, okay? And that is running, yeah, yeah 100, way efficient. Um, I've seen it go up to 120, but that's like when I'm putting uh, just uh, booting up the laptop and turning on the monitor. So I'm running the monitor. Let's see, I'm running the monitor. I'm running my laptop right now, and I'm running my um, Wi-Fi. And usually I have at the very end my charger for my phone. Okay, so I'm running my whole office right now. My whole office right now, just on the sun okay so I'm about to do the whole uh, not the whole house but I'm gonna uh, take a bunch of uh, outlets like my fridge and stuff offline I've got six let's see six more panels hold on let's see hold on okay so I have the one panel in there so I have one two three four five so I have six panels at 260 watts so it's like a 1500, 1520, what is it? What anyway? It's like 15 kilowatt per hour. Or no, hold on, no, no. It's 1500 kilowatt. Let's see, let's do the math. Hold on. I don't want to mess up. Hold on. Okay, yeah, so it's a 1560. 
So it's 1,560 watts, which will run a bunch of outlets in my house. Okay, so um, that's I'm just waiting on my Outback charge controller. Or, I'm sorry, I have my Outback charge controller. I'm waiting on my inverter. So I've got an Outback charge controller, which is a Flex 80. That's going to be able to hook up uh, up to eight solar panels. Um, seven, eight, yeah, eight solar panels, which I'm only doing six right now. Then I'm going to get my uh, inverter, my Outback inverter, which is on order now. That should be here any day, my Outback converter, and that's a 24-volt inverter. Okay, so right now I have just a 12-volt inverter, but I'm going to go 24. I was thinking about going 48, but I'm just going to go 24. Um, it's much bigger than this. This is just a mini setup. I'm going to have another six batteries. No, six. Yeah, I'm going to have another six batteries and a much bigger inverter and a much bigger charge controller, which is the Outback charge controller. And... Uh, that's what's next. So I'll show you guys that once I get it up and going. I just wanted to make sure to let you guys see this mini, this mini system right here is running my whole office. I'm off grid. I'm not paying anything for it. Uh, at night I can run it at night too. And I also got this little mini refrigerator right here. When I get my uh, inverter, my bigger inverter in there, I'm gonna run that also. And yeah. That's about it, you guys. Let's see what the wattage is before we take off here. And the wattage, is, see the wattage has gone down to 97.6 and that's running all this stuff. That's only running 90, that's running 90, yeah, let's call it 98 watts. 98 watts, and that's all free energy. All right, so I'll show you guys one more time. This is the Samlex 300 watts um, inverter and this is the um, EP Solar, it's the Tracer series, and it's the MPPT Solar Charge Controller. Make sure you get an MPPT. All right, you guys, until next time, thanks for watching, and uh, give me a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe. Thank you.